say in defense of Monaco whilst I'm on this little pedestal uh, or high horse more likely we have boring races everywhere in Formula 1 you know do we they, what the, <laughs> Barcelona a couple of weeks ago great Sometimes. runs it was but quite often it's a boring Grand Prix Paul Ricard in France often provides a boring Grand Prix Sometimes Formula One is boring. More often than not at Monaco, I do accept that, but it's kind of the nature of it a little bit, isn't it? It's lap 76 of 78. Had some classics at Monaco in the past. Today, not one of them, but it will be as far as Max Verstappen is concerned, and it, and it may well be as far as the 2021 World Championship is concerned. But also for the dull races we've had, we have had huge moments as well, even in recent years. Yeah. You talk of the Ricardo wheels not going on, costing the race win in, uh, in 2017. Ricardo then holding off for the win in 2018, despite having a, a car issue. 2019 was a, a big scrap between Hamilton and Verstappen. Verstappen firing in a lunge and, and Hamilton cutting the corner and holding the position. And then here we've seen its drama as well. Not on race day so much, but Leclerc, pole position, doesn't start the Grand Prix. Maybe it's not an absolute thrilling Sunday afternoon, but the, the talking points and the championship connotations through the weekend, they, they still have a lot of relevance. Lap 76 of 78, although as I say that, Verstappen comes across the line now, flashes down towards Sandovot for the penultimate time. Two laps to go in the 2021 Monaco Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton still running in seventh place, Jenny. Yeah, and I've just listened across to his... Finds his stroke in this home as well now. Lost his lap. He's got nothing to tell him in front of him, and they couldn't hear each other, so they had to have the conversation a couple of times. But confirming to Hamilton, he is the fastest man on track at the moment. He would get the one point in addition to uh, where he finishes, um, and he doesn't think anybody else can set fastest lap now. So that looks safe for them, Mercedes think. Yeah, well, it is safe now because no one has pitted at the start of the penultimate lap. Norris sets his personal best lap of the Grand Prix, and he's managed to get the gap up to two seconds between he and third place and Sergio. Perez in fourth so he's doing a good job here Norris in the McLaren to withhold this pressure and secure another podium in his young Formula One career the 21 year old from Bristol doing a very very strong job this afternoon as he has done all season Antonio Giovinazzi is still seven tenths of a second behind Esteban Ocon in the Alfa Romeo fighting over ninth position but Verstappen is coming out of the final corner now no more cut at 10-11, otherwise we get a penalty. 1929, and Hamil uh, Verstappen starts the final lap of the race. It's going to be his first ever Monaco Grand Prix win. It's going to be his second win of the season, and it's going to be the first time in his career that he will lead the Formula One World Championship. Through the right-hander, past the casino, down towards the Mirabeau right-hander, then into the slowest corner on the track, the famous hairpin in front of the hotel he's got a couple of cars up in front of him in fact it's Yuki Tsunoda Nicholas Latifi and George Russell all fighting for position as they come out of the tunnel and Tsunoda's very close to the back of Latifi I wouldn't be surprised to see Tsunoda go for a lunge I don't think he's going to as they come into the Nouvelle Chicane but he was very very close but Verstappen is too far back from them to have any worries the Dutchman has been in Formula 1 for a long time now and this is the last lap. And Lando, if you can do fuel saving for free, do it please. No risk. Fully in contention. That is changing today. Slides his way out of the final corner, almost for the cameras. Comes across the line. The checkered flag falls. Max Verstappen wins the Monaco Grand Prix. Verstappen takes the lead of the Drivers' World Championship. And Lewis Hamilton can only finish seventh after an incredibly tough day at Monaco. Carlos Sainz across the line in second position for Ferrari. Superb effort from him. And Lando Norris, third in the McLaren. The team leaning over the pit wall. Celebrate the British driver finishing on the podium after a really wonderful drive. Serena Williams is there to wave the chequered flag for Norris. Perez is fourth. Sebastian Vettel is going to finish fifth, although he's only 1.3 seconds ahead of Pierre Gasly. But there is a whole host of... Dutch fans all in orange t-shirts, some of them in orange suits, jumping and dancing on the boats by the side of the harbour because for the first time they've seen 
Max Verstappen win the Monaco Grand Prix and move to the top of the championship. Verstappen wins. Championship fight in his hands now? In his lead? <laughs> in his hands is a bit, is a bit early. Um, but he's, in, he's, he's got the lead. A nice, easy drive for Max Verstappen, really. Under pressure early on from Valtteri Bottas, but Bottas was dropping back, had his own issues, dropped out of the race, and Verstappen was never really under big pressure from Sainz. Max, that is a fabulous drive, mate, and you're a Monaco Grand Prix winner. Fantastic. <laughs> yes! Oh, nice race! <laughs> Oh, well done. I think we managed that really well, guys. Oh, super happy. <laughs> Max, that is a fabulous drive, mate, and you're a Monaco Grand Prix winner. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice race. <laughs> oh, well done. I think we managed that really well, guys. Oh, super happy. <laughs> Max Verstappen, you're a Monaco Grand Prix winner. That was... That was brilliant. That was your afternoon. Big Adrian's coming up to get the trophy with you. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Christian. I think perfect uh, tire life as well. So, yeah, super happy with this win. That was master class and you're leading the World Championship. Well done, mate. By Jean. Hopefully it's a bit more of a thriller than this one.